Tesla leads a 95% increase in electric car sales in the United States. Imagine when the factory in Austin, Texas is up and running, shipping out potentially 2 million vehicles per year. This is just the beginning of the electric revolution. Hello my friends and welcome to the channel. Fantastic to see you here. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. If you have and you're here again, great to see you. Now according to new registration data reported on electric, TSLA is leading a 95% increase in electric car sales in the United States. Of course, the automakers' market shares are sliding a little bit, but that's something to be expected. I think Tesla might be able to maintain a market share globally in the EV market by 2030 of around 20%. But I believe that by 2030, the EV market will be the market. As previously reported elsewhere, Tesla's market share of the electric vehicle market in the United States is utterly insane. For the year of 2020, Tesla vehicles accounted for 79% of new EVs registered in the United States. 79%. Now during that period, Tesla was leading an 11% increase in electric vehicle sales in the market. Doesn't sound like much, but the results were really impressive, considering the broader car, that broader car sales were significantly down in 2020 thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. Now, in 2021, it looks like EVs are back to significant growth in the US. A new report from Experian digs into new car registrations to show that EVs sales grew 95% between January and April 2021, compared to 36% for the overall US new car market. So you can see US EV sales are really expanding very very quickly. Now, obviously, 2022 is going to be an enormous year in the United States because we're going to have vehicles like Rivian bringing out their new U. You're going to have vehicles like Lucid bringing out their vehicles. Tesla's going to have the Cybertruck and way more manufacturer of the Model Y coming from Austin, Texas. You're going to have the Ford F-150 Lightning vehicle go on sale. Probably going to see vehicles go on sale from GM bringing out electric utes. You're going to see the Hummer EV come out. It's going to be an onslaught of electric vehicles coming in 2022 doesn't mean bad things for tesla hell no it doesn't at all it means bad things for the manufacturers not selling battery powered vehicles so tesla's market share of evs has gone down in the united states from 79 percent to 71 percent now i would be amazed if they kept a 50 percent market share through 2022 but if they do wow fantastic if they don't it doesn't matter it makes no difference what we want to see here is just more evs selling and we can see based on the trends based on everything i report on this channel all the videos check out all the videos showing all the trends that are happening in the united states in europe in all over the world in china evs are really starting to take over and we're at an interesting part of the s curve of adoption of new technology and the top selling models look somewhat similar to last year's top selling models in the United States, but there's a few small changes like Ford adding itself to the list with the Mustang Mach-E and Audi and Porsche accelerating their sales. Really good to see Porsche accelerating sales. It shows you that when people have a choice, a defined choice and price doesn't matter, they're more inclined to go electric than to stick with petrol or diesel, even with sports cars, because that's what a Porsche is, obviously. Now, the top 10 best selling EVs in the United States from January to April 2021, according to registration data are number one the tesla model y with 53,100. number two tesla model three with 35,500. number three the chevrolet bolt ev with 13,600. number four the ford mustang mach e with 6,000. number five the nissan leaf with 5,000. number six the audi e-tron with 4,000. number seven porsche taycan with 3,000. those sales for the porsche taycan 3,000 really really good just for four months of the year so porsche is selling about 750 taycans per month in the united states that's incredible number eight is the Hyundai Kona with 2,000 sales. Number nine is the Tesla Model X with 1,730 sales. Number 10 is the Tesla Model S with 1,600 sales. Now, obviously, we're going to see huge increases in Model X and Model S sales in the second or in the third and fourth quarters of 2021 because those vehicles weren't being produced or manufactured at all for most of this year because Tesla was working on new models. What I find interesting, guys, in this list, I really want to know from here from you, what do you think are going to be the biggest selling EVs in 2022 in the United States? You know, I'm intrigued here to see that Volkswagen and Hyundai, two manufacturers pushing EVs, are not even in this list at all. It's shocking. I can't understand it. What's going on? Surely, based on the prices, Volkswagen is really pricing their EVs very competitively in the United States, and they still qualify for the tax, the seven thousand US dollar tax rebate, right? Where Tesla vehicles don't. That makes the Volkswagen vehicles even better value 
and Hyundai's as well. It must make me wonder, guys, what's going on? Have you been to a dealer and seen that? Have you, uh, have you been to a Volkswagen dealer or a Hyundai dealer and asked for one of these cars and they've said, no, we don't have them? Is that what's happening? I can't understand it. Why, not, why are more of these cars not appearing on the roads? It doesn't make sense to me. Now, I think Tesla's market share has gone from 79 to 71%, partly because of the fact that Tesla hasn't been selling the Model S and Model X at all in the United States this year, well, almost at all. And obviously that will change dramatically over the third and fourth quarters of this year. Now, Model S and Model X sales are a big part of Tesla's sales in the United States. That's where they sell the best. Obviously, United States buyers do perceive them as a premium vehicle, which they are. And I think a lot of buyers have probably been holding off for the new model as well. It's also going to be interesting to see how these sales figures change as the Ionic 5, the Hyundai Ionic 5, and the Volkswagen ID4 sell in high volumes in the United States, which they must do so over the third and fourth quarters. And to be honest, the Hyundai Ionic Ionic 5, I mean, it's a very compelling car, and I think a lot of people would want a vehicle like that. I would want one. I want a Tesla Model Y as well. I want both. Give me both of them, please. Tesla, Hyundai, call me up. I'll take one of each. Now, guys, while I'm a big fan of Tesla, I look forward to seeing their market share drop, but I also look forward to seeing their sales dramatically increase. And I think their sales are going to double this year over what they were last year and double again next year, maybe more over what they were this year. But still, it's going to be a good thing to see their percentage of sales drop because that'll mean that more EVs are being sold in the market. And that is a good thing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.